Hi, my name is John Stewart, Alamo City Cello, and I'm making this video as a little introduction into who I am and uh, my history with uh, music and um, just my story, basically. Uh, I was born in San Antonio, Texas, back in 1966, and uh, I first got introduced into the cello uh, uh, at junior high school. I uh, went to Alamo Heights Junior High, and my first orchestra director was Maureen Keller. She was the founder of the program there. And later on, it was Nina Holloway, who later became Nina Mavernack, a great teacher at the high school level. I went to uh, Alamo Heights High School for my freshman year. Uh, the orchestra director there was Carla Wright, um, excellent orchestra director, and I learned a lot about ensemble play and just uh, the basics of, uh, of uh, playing together. So um, I started studying cello when I was uh, uh, in, in, in junior high school in the sixth grade with Dan Zollers. Uh, Dan was a section cellist uh, for 30 years in the San Antonio Symphony, great player, uh, great teacher as well. So I was very lucky to, to have him as a, as a first, uh, first cello teacher. Uh, my sophomore year, I moved to Dallas, Texas, and I went to uh, the Arts Magnet School at Booker T. Washington. And that was a very unique school because it not only did it have music, but it had visual art and dance and also literary art as well. And some notables out of there who came out of that school were, um, I don't know if you know the lead guitarist of Pantera, the rock and roll band Pantera, or Edie Burkell and the uh, New Bohemians. The, they, were, uh, they had like a top 10 hit uh, back in the day, I think back in the 80s. So uh, a very interesting school. Uh, I continued my cello studies with Lev Aronson, a legendary cello teacher from Dallas for 30 years. He was the principal cellist of the Dallas Symphony and a great artist. Uh, learned a lot about the bow and about phrasing. Uh, for the six, first six weeks of studying with Lev, he wouldn't let me do anything but open strings, so he was really a stickler on bow technique. And um, I also studied with um, Michael Corin. Who's, uh, st I, I think he's still uh, in the Dallas Symphony. He's a section cellist in the Dallas Symphony. And, uh, uh, and uh, Michael had a, has an amazing mind. I mean, he's able to really, he's the one that taught me how to practice and have something really stick. So if you're practicing something, you want to be able to recall that on stage. And his system was just uh, very, very good. So I was lucky to study with him as well. Uh, what would have been my senior year, my family and I, we moved to Boston, Massachusetts, and there I enrolled into New England Conservatory Music. So uh, my first cello teacher there was Colin Carr, and then it was David Wells, uh, Larry Lesser, Bernard Greenhouse was there as well, um, Yo-Yo Ma was giving lessons and master classes. Uh, the great Dutch cellist, Anner Bilsma, the Baroque cellist, he was, he was there as well. So uh, David Finkel uh, was a regular performer, Emerson String Quartet. Um, Stephen Islis, a great British cellist, was there as well. So th it, was, it was a great experience for me because I was able to hear cello playing at the highest level. So that, that's always been the goals that I've been striving towards and uh, looking at for for my whole life so far, so just the, the ability to be able to hear the way it's supposed to sound, that was that was worth it to me. And to live into Boston, living there was a great 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 opportunity too. I played with the Boston Philharmonic, uh, did a lot of concerts with them as well. Uh, in 1992, I moved to Hamburg, Germany. I fell in love with this young lady, and I followed her out to Hamburg and. Uh, uh, auditioned for the Hamburg Mozart Orchestra and got in as a section cellist. Uh, the, the conductor there was uh, Robert Stiele, uh, Swiss conductor and just a real taskmaster. Uh, he had very high standards of uh, preparedness and uh, work ethics, so uh, you came ready to play in his orchestra. I was lucky enough to go through the whole, rep pretty much the whole repertoire, all the Beethoven symphonies, the Brahms, Mahler, uh, he loved he loved Bruckner, so we did a lot of Bruckner, which was cool. Uh, also, at the time, I was I was still studying the cello with Charles Curtis, and Charles was principal cellist of the NDR North Radio uh, Orchestra there, and uh, just a great player. He was American, so 
uh, was from Juilliard and uh, was principal cellist there. So um, in 1998, I moved back to San Antonio. Uh, my family's here, and I wanted to be close to my family. And I enrolled into uh, UTSA for musical, for pedagogy, for teaching. And my mentor there was Jean Dowdy, a uh, great teacher, just a great role model. Uh, also Scott Ballantyne and Bob Rustowitz. So, um, and, and what I really got from UTSA, the number one thing is that, it, I wanna tell you a quick story. I had been living in Germany for, I guess, four, almost four years, three and a half years. And I come back and I'm taking this like um, tour of UTSA and there's this young lady there, young Hispanic lady, Lat Latina. And she's talking about the school and at the moment, I'm like marveling at like the simplicity in which she's speaking and the directness and how it just, you know, it makes sense what she says, you know, it's just there's an elegance to it that I kind of was missing in some way. And when I went to UTSA, I found more of that than I did anywhere else. I got a chance to study with Dan Zollers again, you know, my first cello teacher, I came back. And I come to appreciate Dan's sort of what he calls his uh, Kansas state of mind. So it's just this sort of uh, simple way of seeing things. You know, this ability to be able to take complicated ideas and make them simplified. And that was part of my instruction to at UTSA and really just taking complicated technical things and making them simple and easy to digest and really having the sequence like this is what you do first, this is what you do second, and that it leads to success. Uh, I think my biggest education as a teacher has been the last 15 years of doing it. So I've, I've got a chance to now see what worked and what didn't work, you know. I wish I could have back my first year of teaching because, you know, I let my students get away with stuff, you know, holding the bow strange. and Later on, they only suffered, of course. So I've learned to, in the beginning, you know, really make sure the form is correct and just Taking, taking the time to get it right. <laughs> I think that's very important. You know, a friend of mine used to say, when God made time, he made enough of it. So <laughs> you hope that's the case, right? It's not a guarantee, but, you know, we're hoping for that. But I hope this serves as a good little introduction to my experience with music and the cello and also my, um, just where I'm coming from. And, um, you know, and, and, and if I can do anything to help you guys out, uh, I, I I'd love to to to, to you know stay in contact with any of you. Okay, adios. <laughs>